Previously on Apprentice A. He's on the radio. And we'll let you know so that way you guys can actually tune in. Oh, tippy toes. <laughs> this is where we test our resolve. We're the masters of IQ. I bought a Star Wars shirt. So Buffer's gonna be dope. Yep. And <laughs> we need to obviously also look dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, so, we don't have to, I mean, but we can. I mean, should. We, should. we should. So we're looking at this website. All of us have I'm like 800 movie. tabs at the top. <laughs> I'm really good at wish list writing notes. Yeah. I think this would be a day out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're literally yeah. just going to yeah. rent all of our outfits. I know. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. But we're going to get to see so if we good. try them on because there's a place in Toronto. Yeah. There's like a place in Ottawa and Toronto and nowhere else. Sweet. Good. It's wonderful. Good placement. I have four pages of favorited. Um, <laughs> so good. This is a day outfit. Okay, so you're literally planning like yeah. the. This is gonna be Saturday day. This uh, is Saturday gonna be night. Sunday night. We figured it out. <laughs> We're gonna need five outfits. Okay. In total. Yeah. Okay. You go. Uh, well, Thursday during the day isn't really as important. Yeah. So you can just wear regular clothes. Right. And then yeah. Friday during the day. And then Friday at night. And Kay. then like the part each day has a party, so you need like a different outfit for a party. Right, right, of course. Right? So then Saturday you have a day outfit and then you have a party dress. <laughs> Sunday, usually the party's in the hotel, so you don't really need another one. So you have just one outfit, and then you like change. And then pajamas. Because yeah. <laughs> it's and Sunday yes. night. Yeah. So, you know, we're just like, just trying to, yeah. We're just yeah. planning. We're just you know? planning everything. Yeah. Oh, we should all coordinate with each other. We can all wear one color on one day, and then like the buffer colors. It's like everybody wears black on this day, everybody wears red on that day. And gray and white. <laughs> and then, you know, capes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> There's capes. There's tiny little, little capes. There's also this ridiculous dress. I think it's called a butterfly dress. It's a black dress and then the sleeves are like huge that. lace like. It a oh, it looks so good. Oh, this this one. one, this one. That, look at that. It's amazing. That's so cool. Oh, I want it. Ooh, it looks like a... Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> you can just like spin around over and over. Oh that'd be, man, that'd be pretty cool. So good, oh, so, so nice. good. Some ABBA stuff going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm okay ABBA. with that. I'm okay with that. Corey <laughs> needs to poop. So hey. <laughs> You guys threw them under the bus so quick. <laughs> These are my best friends. Thanks, guys. It's perfectly natural. Everyone does it. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> I walked away and Sasuke's like, no, we gotta vlog. Yeah, we have to vlog. So we, we locked just... the schedule. Yeah, we yeah. did. I don't mind showing it to people. Look, a there schedule. That's the schedule. There. There it is. There it is. We've been working on that for weeks. Woo! And we got all kinds of advice from all kinds of people. And it's the best we can do. And if you don't like it, <laughs> too, too bad. bad. Like different things. <laughs> Sorry. This is it, man. This is as good this as we can do. This is all we can do. This is Saturday, do. and this is Sunday, and these screenings are huge. And yeah, Buffer's different than it was last year, where we had 40 screenings. But this serves more people, and it's better scalable. And we did our best to not put similar things on at the same time. Some people are gonna be offended that the women's screening is on at the same time as the Canadian screening because there are lots of Canadians that are women. <laughs> Approximately <laughs> half. Um, but that is the absolute best we could do and that was the least offensive screening to put it um, beside. Before we had women on at the same time as gaming because there we didn't have any YouTubers that were both. Um, but when we tested that idea and asked a couple people, they were like, ah, that might not look good to say, like, there's no women in we gaming. We actually did have a few animators, the scamming and animation. We oh, had yeah. We animators that were female. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even though I'm kind of, like, joking around and I also really need to go to the <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm talking thinking, really fast. I'm already thinking it's it's three months from now, and people have linked to this video on Tumblr because they're complaining about, oh, this screening was whatever, and Buffer doesn't care about equality, and I need to poop. But, <laughs> Uh, so, we're, so we're watching this video in October or November, and we're in hot water because women weren't properly represented at Buffer Festival, which we care very, very much about, all joking aside. Uh, we have done our absolute best. Like, we, we talked for hours. Yeah. This has taken, like, two weeks. Just yeah. sitting around trying to figure this out. We, we yeah. sit here for hours in the sun saying, is it offensive to have LGBT plus on at the same time as travel? 
Because LGBT people travel. <laughs> they travel, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're known they to are, travel. They are. They are. They've traveled. Travel. Well, can we put that on at the same time as education? What are you saying that LGBT people aren't educated? Yeah. Oh boy, it's just just it's like so hard. it's bad news no matter what. Yeah. Um, and we know that. And one of the, our board of advisors kind of said it's per, uh, especially obvious this year because there's only there's two limited shows at once. stuff. Yeah. yeah. That makes it more obvious. Uh, and she said, last year, when there was three, you're, if you put the women of YouTube screening on at the same time as a couple other things, you're not really saying this or this. Yeah. And we're kind of, it's just because we have two screenings happening simultaneously, specifically this year, that it makes it more apparent that it's this or this. Um, so... And, and maybe next year, we don't know. We don't know when a buffer changes drastically every year. It's always the, the same feeling and style. Um, but this is as good as we could do for this year with the YouTubers we have, with the screens we have, with the venues we have, with the budget we have. Um, and we, we put a lot of thought with both uh, guys and girls. Yes, it's a lot of white people, but we asked <laughs> non-white people. We have a board of advisors who helps us. Yeah. We asked not straight people, um, and we got a lot of feedback from well-respected YouTubers. And I won't be saying their names yet, because we haven't announced it yet. But we have YouTubers, especially this year, who are helping us make sure that people are properly represented and, you know, there's a lot of equality at Buffer. And this is as good as we can do. <laughs> so here it is, and it's locked. And there's Woo! still there's still little things about it we don't love, but... Too bad. It's too, too bad. bad. It's uh, staying like this. We tried. So n now what we can do is where things are maybe, like, underrepresented is just throw more YouTubers at it, yeah. Yeah. which is a matter of budget, yes. but like we can just keep, it's like, oh, we need more um, people of color, this race isn't represented, and you know, we need more, let's throw some women in gaming, let's go find them, let's go get them, um, and we can, and we can absolutely do that, and we will do that, um, but we need to start by locking this, <laughs> uh, that's the next step, uh, so here we are. If you know anyone in a, in a yeah. category that you think should come, put it in the comments yeah. and we'll take a look. And I'm just going to be a bit of a jerk here and then say not just that you like them, but that their videos specifically fit kind of what Buffer's about. Yeah. And that's really difficult for us because it's not all YouTubers. It's, an, oh, I, this, is game, this is my favorite gaming YouTuber. We are looking for a bit more cinematic, a bit more production-based, a bit more storytelling, a bit more maybe artistic, something that works on a big screen. So I love gaming. I play video games, but with gaming, which is new for this year... It's gaming we, and animation. It's gaming and animation. Sorry, I'm just reading that. Yep. Um, we don't want any Let's Plays. People just playing and talking. We don't want that. We want something more creative than that, more artistic than that. With lifestyle, we don't want any beauty tutorials. But we do want maybe really cinematic lookbooks. Really fancy, artistic, inspirational... DIYs. DIYs and crafts. Um, so you, so let's, uh, let's avoid, with no offense to the YouTubers of the videos that do that, we don't want that kind of lifestyle video. And it's no offense to the creator, it's just that's the, not the videos that we're looking for. And that's true for anything, comedy, vloggers, education. It could be a really educational video, but we're looking for something cinematic. And that applies to, that applies to everything, because that's what Buffer's about. So you know when it's like reaching the end of August, and you're organizing your closet for fall, and you find something that you like can't remember buying, and looks really, really dumb. What is this? You have worn so that so many times. What? I've seen you wear that many times. I don't remember ever wearing this. <laughs> this summer? I've definitely not worn this this summer. Uh, yeah, maybe not this summer, but you definitely, like, I, like, I recognize that. I don't remember ever. I think I remember wearing it once and then being like, yep, this is insane. <laughs> and then putting it in a in a dark yeah, corner, and I just right found it, and I was like, I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna have to like try to put this on to figure out what it is. It's like some kind of like onesie. Bro, I mean, thing. onesies are pretty cool. Yeah. Well, this one isn't. There's like no bum. <laughs> so it's like, and like the the A line thingy is in a weird place, so it just looks like I'm wearing really 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 high shorts. <laughs> 
I don't know what's happening here. I mean, you could it, you could wear it as like a bathing suit. Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought it was like a bathing suit. It's cotton though. <laughs> Why on earth is everybody awake? Because it's not. Treats. It's 11 o'clock. Julie and I went to bed like an hour ago. You're silly. Sam went to bed like three hours ago. Yeah, but Sam is an old The lights bed. were all off. Not you went to bed? No, I was on my laptop reading Reddit. She went downstairs because everybody went to bed. Chewy. Proud and I have been awake this whole time. I'm making Chewy brownies. Barks. Like, I am not. Yeah, Chewy barked in the room. I was like, what's going on? I guess we have to go upstairs. Guess everybody is awake. Mm -hmm. And if I'm up, I might as well eat a brownie. Well, there you go. I specifically heard you saying that you were not interested in brownies before oh, you went to bed. <laughs> I love how he didn't even comment on my outfit, but I guess he was shirtless. So yeah, he doesn't get to comment on people's outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Home is where the fog is.